Good morning and happy Wednesday, T-Birds. I'm Eleanor. And I'm Finley, and we're coming to you live from Channel One. The Interact Sock Drive is still up and running. Mr. Baker's SAS class has brought in over 40 pairs of socks. Keep up the great work. Please bring in new socks to your SAS classes by January 31st to donate to Mary's Place. STEM for Her, our annual series featuring professional women working in various STEM fields, starting next week. Sign-up information is in a message from Ms. Stevens in your K-12 email or on the main page of the College and Career site. The series will run for four SAS periods in February and March. If you're planning on running for ASB President, Vice President, Treasurer, Recording or Corresponding Secretary for next year, come to the lunch meeting on Tuesday, February 4th during lunch in 1603. Are you interested in learning more about historically African American colleges and universities? Would you like to enter some giveaways and see Sherwood and Shorecrest step teams perform? Come to the HBCU night at Shorecrest High School this Wednesday, February 5th from 8 to 6 in the Performing Arts Center. There will be representatives from over nine HBCUs, UW, and SCC. Cheer on our step team and see you there. Seniors, if you have concerns about your semester grades, please make sure to make a point to see your counselor as soon as possible. If you have concerns about college admissions or scholarships, check your K-12 email for a message from Ms. Stevens. This is the time for seniors to be proactive. Also, for seniors, applications for a local scholarship are due to Ms. Stevens this Friday. So far, we have a shocking no applicants. The Nellie Martin Carmen Scholarship is based on academic achievement, financial need, and a few other criteria. Check your K-12 email or Naviance for full scholarship criteria or see Ms. Stevens in the Career Center for a hard copy of the application. Now we'll throw it to the video bulletins. Hi there fellow Sherwood T-Bird, welcome to the compost station. Today we will show you how to properly sort your trash to prevent this. Welcome to the compost bin. Here we only throw away biodegradable products such as food waste, paper plates and boats, napkins and popsicle sticks. Things you cannot put in here include plastic, styrofoam and glass. Liquid waste goes into this liquids bucket. After emptying recyclable containers, please don't forget to put the lid back on and put it in the recycling bin. Some juice cartons do not recycle. Lastly, in the trash can, here you throw away things such as dirty plastic and paper, the green juice boxes provided by school lunches, dirty aluminum foil, plastic wrap, plastic utensils, and Ziploc bags. Thank you for watching. We hope you'll learn how to properly sort your trash. Good luck with your composting and please kindly ask any station members if you have any questions. When you try your best but you don't succeed. So, why are you here today? I got hit by a car. Well, do you have any current medications? Well, I've been taking no sidewalk since my freshman year. Might I suggest you use a medication called using the sidewalk? The only side effect is safety. Now we're back. In honor of Black History Month, come learn more about the push for economic studies classes on Monday, February 3rd from 6 to 7.30 in the theater. Two local educators will be interviewed by Shorewood High School. Go to the Shoreline Students website for more information. We hope to see you there. Now it's time for the random fact of the day. Did you know that cuttlefish are a type of cephalopod? Wow, that's very interesting. And on that note, Sherwood, thank you for tuning in to this edition of The Nest. I'm Finley. And I'm Eleanor. And we'll see you next time on Channel One. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Have a nice day.